What's up, Taurus? Welcome to BMHP. How's everybody? And this is a absolutely fabulous new year. Okay, the new year. It just seemed like it's all about money and success and love and joy and happiness. Like this is the year, you guys. Like the collective energy just feels so positive. Like you guys can make anything happen this year. Okay. Either way, let's go ahead and tap in and see what's going on with you, Taurus. Beloved, what's going on with the Tauruses? What message do you have for Taurus? What's going on with Taurus, please? What's the energy that's surrounding Taurus, please? Thank you so much, my love. All right. What's going on with Taurus? Oh my goodness. Your energy is popping, Taurus. What's been going on? And the star man come out. Wow. Dang, your energy is popping. See what I'm talking about? 2024 for you is a different type of year, Taurus. Like, yeah. Temperance at the bottom. So everything that's been going on in your life, everything you've been through, this is your year of balance, right? Like the scales are going to be weighed and things are going to be balancing out for you. So you got the sacred clown <laughs> followed by the ten of swords. That is too funny for me. The star man, the three of wands, the ten of cups. The Nine of Pentacles. The Empress. Okay. What else we got? We got the Four of Cups. The Ten of Swords. The, Star, the Judgment. I'm sorry. The King of Cups. Oh my goodness. What's wrong with me? Four of Cups. King of Cups. Judgment. The Five of Pentacles. The Princess of Wands. Want to slide through. Somebody want to call like a motherfucker, Taurus, real, real bad if they ain't already on your phone. And the odd man out, this king of swords energy. Why do I feel like, Taurus, you in this energy right now? You have zero tolerance for BS in your life. Like, it's like you flipped a new page and that's what you're on. You're on that page. You're not looking back at the page previous. You're not looking at the page ahead. You're just looking at the page you're at right now. Like, man, this is what I'm finna do. This is how I'm finna do it. And yeah, like you're focused, right? It's like purposely being focused because I feel like whoever this sacred clown is, and I feel like it's no coincidence that I chose this deck. Somebody really was a motherfucking fool, a clown that was in your life, right? And you really, like, you ended it. You were kind of tired of whatever was going on in this situation with this person because this person, I feel like, took you for granted time and time again. They may did something that was really crucial to you, that really hurt you, and you was like, I'm done. I'm, there's no going back to that. Like, there's no coming back from what you did to me. That type of energy, that type of vibe, right? What's crazy is the minute that you did that, the minute where you chose you, you chose yourself, right? Whoever this person was, this this clown, which is too funny to me. Uh, Taurus, why are you acting like that? Like Taurus, I love you. I care about you. Like don't don't do me like this. And you're like, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. I've had enough. I just can't do it no more. I'm sorry. You know, whatever. Like, I can't do it no more. I've done it with you enough times to know better. Like, I'm not going back into that trap, into that sunken place that you put me in. Like, I can't continue to go into that sunken place. Like, I thought I was happy, but now that I'm not with you, I realize what happiness really is. And, like, happiness is not with you. You don't make me feel happy, right? You make me feel sad. So you chose yourself, Starman, right? I'm choosing me. I'm choosing to heal. I'm choosing to level up. I'm choosing to move on past this. That's your final judgment. That's what you've decided within the situation. Because you know one thing is for damn sure with this person. You let this person back in your life, Taurus. You already know what it is. 
El Diablo and the Three of Wands, right? Just toxic ass situations that you're going to find yourself like back in the same situation trying to figure out what's wrong with this person. Why they acting like that? Why they not calling? Why they not texting? Why they blah, 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 all that type of stuff, right? And it's like, it's not bringing you no happiness and joy. Plus this person, the one I'm reading, because I'm kind of getting upset about this. This motherfucker had the nerves to put you in several, not one, not two. But why do I feel like several third party situations? So you were in a nine party situation. This was a fucking uh, nine of cups energy. Okay, so this person was selfish as all outdoors, right? But you're wrong. You know, let them tell the story to somebody on the outside looking in. Oh, it was Taurus. Taurus did this. Taurus did that. You know, me and Taurus, we was happy together, right? Me and Taurus, together, we could, you know, conquer whatever, right? We would, I had the stars and the moon when I was with Taurus. But shit, Taurus couldn't tell with this Five of Pentacles energy. Where was the stars and the moon and all this stuff that you're telling people, that you're talking to people about when you were with Taurus? Because that ain't how Taurus felt. Taurus felt very, like, lost without you, can't have myself. How do it feel to know that I love you, right? So you were the one that was in this Five of Pentacles energy, lost, didn't know what you would do without this person. Now that you're choosing yourself, Taurus... Or should I say, now that you've chosen yourself, you're starting to feel 100% better, okay? Nine of Pentacles, Princess of One, you getting your spark back, you getting your fire back, right? You getting your creativity back. You're like, damn, I never felt so good before in my life. Like, I didn't even realize the burden that I was carrying around by messing with this person because this person just dragged me down, brought me down, so on and so forth. I feel like your person, Taurus, little do you not know this person may have had the energy of depression. If you're a female and you, and you was having sex with this person, your spirit, their spirit was inside of you, which is why you probably felt like this, this Debbie Downer-ass energy and you didn't know where it come from because I don't feel like it's you right i feel like it's this person that has this debbie downer ass energy and when you let this person enter you that's what happened this empress and this queen of cups taurus i feel a couple of things with this the first thing i feel like is this is how you continuously level up as you move from this person from this nine of pentacles to this queen of cups putting all this energy into you into this empress having enough love not only to give yourself but to give to other people but i also feel like with these two cards, these could be different outside energies that made that nine of cups energy. Because remember, this person was something else, okay? They could have had a baby on you or something. Or they had a wife or a woman, a man, something on the side of you. But I feel like, man, overall, the strongest energy I'm getting is, is this is you continuously leveling up. As you leave this person behind, you know, like I said, you in this energy of being super laser focused on you and you have zero tolerance for this person coming back into your life, trying to do whatever it is that they did before to you. I feel like you're just not going for it no more. You learned your lesson, right? You, you finally learned the lesson about who this person was, okay? Let's see how this person feels about you, Taurus. How does this person feel about Taurus, please? How does this person feel about Taurus? That is too funny. So now they're the one now that's lost without you. <laughs> it's funny how the tables turn. Beloved, how does this person feel about Taurus, please? How does this person feel about Taurus? What the? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First off, this person realized they made a big mistake. They realize it now, right? But that ain't, that ain't, hey, what is this? What is this? I pay their bills, they give me money. Now, who's paying whose bill, who's giving who money? This person may have paid your bills or give you money or vice versa. But whatever this is, in this situation that I just read, this ain't cool either way, okay? It could also be a, this third party. I'm only with them because I don't want to be alone. That's that's allegedly, right? That's allegedly. We don't have the facts, but allegedly, 
they are only with them because they don't want to be lo be alone. That's allegedly, right? Could be a Leo or Pisces, or you're dealing with the Leo or Pisces strong um, energy in this reading. And uh, this person think you're their twin flame, right? Maybe they've been looking into divine connections and all that type of stuff. But you know what I feel like, Taurus? I feel like you feel like the opposite. You feel like this is your karmic, right? You may used to see them as your twin, but I feel like right now, uh-uh. You see them as a karmic energy that comes in your life and puts you in that sunken place. Okay, Taurus. But either way, beloved, that's the message I get for you. I thank you so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquettes. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, love, peace, and so. Take care.